Well, hello, gamers of Gamersphere. I am Brad Austin, and this is Papers, Please. This is a... Well, if you don't know about Papers, Please, it's an immigration simulator, but it's much more than that. It, uh... It does a fantastic job of showing all the bullcrap that those who work for immigration and those who must use the service of immigration it's just all the bullcrap that those people have to deal with and the chain of events uh, that follow rash decisions it's it's very simple but for people like me it's an eye opener now, I don't know if I'm the only weirdo who thinks about the crap that I think about when I play this game well, maybe, uh, maybe you'll see. I'm just gonna play some of this. We'll start a new game for those of you who are not sure. Congratulations. The October Labor Lottery is complete. Your name was pulled. For immediate placement, report to the Ministry of Admission at Greston Border Checkpoint. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Greston. Expect a Class 8 dwelling. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Glory to our Stoltzka. Greston Border Checkpoint opens at last. After six long years, we finally have open borders. And we must work this checkpoint. Inspector, welcome to your new position at Greston Border Checkpoint. Stamp passport, entry, visa, and return documents to the entry. Entry is restricted to our Stolskin citizens only. Deny all foreigners. All right. This. All right. They will bring you different passports. And each passport is from a different nationality. These, uh, fi obviously fi uh, fictional countries. But the only ones we're allowed to let in are of this symbol. People from our Stolska. Uh, you will see how this works out. If you're unfamiliar, anyhow. Papers, please. Finally, I can return home. Well. Alright. You. Ah, I did it again. There we go. See, she's from Ostilska. It's just fine. Dang it. I'm playing this in windowed mode, so I kind of click out of the sides every now and then. Glory to Ostilska. Next, please. And this game can be very repetitive, so I'll probably skip around when um, inter interesting things start happening. Well, she is from Impor. So, sorry, ma'am. But, it! no foreigners. And these days, you can see the clock down here. Uh, the time goes from a uh, in-game 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. It can be kind of long, so I may just show all of the first day, or first two days. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, pal, this is my job. I'm only doing my job. And then I may skip around some. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. You may pass. Glory to Archdolska. It was a mistake to open this checkpoint. Well, hey, come back here. That's all he wanted to say. Papers, please. You are good to go, my friend. You may pass. See, it starts out fairly simple, but oh my god. As the game progresses, you have more and more bullcrap to deal with. And it gets nerve-wracking. It, it gets so hard. And you have to take care of as many people as possible because your salary... Uh, depends on how many people you uh, put through. Sorry, I'm only doing my job. 
And we have finished our first day. Easy as that, right? And now we have to manage our expenses. It's perfect. But we'll be okay. The checkpoint is a success. Entry restrictions are now to relax so we can admit foreigners. Yay, cool. So, everything's going well. Why shouldn't we allow foreigners to pass as well, right? Alright. Foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. And now we have this little Batman detective mode where we can compare things. And you'll see how that works out later. Any discrepancies we have to address. And some of them are very easy to miss. You'll see what I'm talking about. So over here we have all of the um, different nationalities. She is from here. Now, we have to make sure the pictures are the same. We have to make sure the passport is not expired. You can tell down here the year, month, day. The passport's fine. Uh, we have to make sure the issuing city is the same. There's a lot to look at. But everything worked out for her, so she may pass. Now, this passport is expired. It expired on the 16th, so we can go into Batman mode here <clears throat> and interrogate him. This document has expired. And I cannot let you through, sir. I'm terribly sorry. Come back with a valid passport. Whoop, wrong way. East Creston, East Creston, 84. Female, that doesn't look right. You look like a dude. Now I know. <laughs> I, I know all the social justice warriors are going to be, oh, legend. You know. You can't go by what people look like. Look, I know. You are male or female. What is this question? Well, you look like a male, but your thing says female. If I let you through, I'll get in trouble. I have a family to feed. I'm sorry. I am a horrible person, and I am discriminating the people by how they look. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And see, so this that's the first problem that game likes this game likes to address. Discrimination based on gender, which is becoming a problem these days. Apparently. Male eighty three, West Crest and West Crest Dead Gallant. Windowed mode. You suck. Go on, get out of here. Hello, handsome. You look bored. Well, just a bit. Oh. Great. Thank you. You're one of those. The pink vice. No, thank you. I have a wife and children. Don't forget to visit. All right. Not going to happen. Come on. We don't have all day. Let's see if everything is in order. Uh. Yurko City, male, 84, 19, hey, what is this guy, oh, crap, oh, somebody just wanted to hop over, it's okay, we'll just detain him and, uh, oh, wait, no, oh, that's a grenade, that's, and that's a terrorist attack, okay, the day was cut short by a terrorist attack, and now things get set in motion, this is where the chaos starts. Colachian agitators suspected. Hmm. November 25th, 1982. See now, we've hired more guards. Fantastic. So now, because of that terrorist attack, we have to make things harder on not only ourselves, but on everyone out here who's just trying to get by. 
So now all foreigners require a valid entry ticket. And you'll see what that looks like. See that? No, I'll just save that conversation for later. Let's open her up and uh, do this thing. Uh, okay, let's see. Is your entry ticket valid on today's the 25th? Your entry ticket is fine. Let's make sure your passport is fine. West Christian female, not expired. Picture is dang it. Picture is the same. And there we go. You may have that back. So now, our workload has gotten harder. Hey there. I can make you happy anytime. Oh, good. Another woman in a financial bind. Thank you. I really ap appreciate that. Uh, hasn't expired yet. Okay. Go on, and good luck to you. Come to Pink Vice. Ask for Ava. Not gonna happen. Hey, I have a bone to pick with anything named Ava after Dark Souls 2, okay? I tend to stay away from anything like that. Lord as all right so the issuing city is wrong we can't have that sorry the issuing city is incorrect sorry but because of that I cannot let you pass next please I heard about a terrorist attack you're lucky to have a job still yeah I guess so where are you from? The United Fed? There we are. Entry ticket. Valid. Uh, everything seems to be in order. Be safe. Thank you. I don't know if that was a subtle warning or actual condolences. I love this guy. Okay, here we go. Glory to Ostoska. The greatest country. Alright, well... Y sir, you you need a passport though. Where's your passport? Passport. Our stores are so great. Passport not required, right? The passport is required. Okay, okay, I hear you. I come back again. I love that guy. He'll he'll come back over and over again, and he never has the right things, and because things are always changing, and. He's, he takes everything so well. He's a cool guy. Cool character. Uh, you, sir, don't have a, a entry ticket. Where is it, sir? It was lost. Well, sorry, but I can't let you through. I'm a butthole. Entry ticket is valid. Female, 84, 1984, 82. She's fine. Glorian, I know, is a good issue in the city for that region. Next, please. It has to be that exact day. Sorry, sir. Come back tomorrow. And wait in line forever again. That was day two. Or is that day three? That was day three. Cool. We still have plenty of money. Our family is doing fine. Let's sleep on that one. Black market activity explodes. Cool. So now we got crime on the rise. Black market activity. Our Stoltzkin citizens must now show their ID card and foreigners must present a valid entry permit. Entry tickets are no longer sufficient. Hmm. Wonderful. So now, there's even more crap to deal with. What is the purpose of your trip? Visiting friends. So now, visiting friends, remaining for a couple of months. So now we have to make sure that their entry permit matches up with what they say. Visiting two months, entry by December 9th, it's fine. Passport number has to be the same, name has to be spelt the same. The seal 
has to be correct if I'm right. See? If the seal is wrong, oh my god. Now there's just more and more crap that they're putting on top of this. Uh, but everything here looks fine. Maybe not the picture. I don't know. Sometimes these pictures are wonky. They look like each other, but they won't be correct sometimes. But everything here is okay. So now, let's see what we have here. Papers, please. She is migrating here. Migrating, enter by December. That's. These names are just a bunch of consonants all smushed together, but apparently that's correct. The seal looks good. She's fine. Singleton. All right. Every, 19. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Her passport is expired. Dang. Sorry, but you cannot enter using its expired document. Come back once you have it renewed. So happy to hear that the border is open. I will visit my son. I have not seen him in six years. All right. Let's see. Uh, passport's fine. Passport is okay, but let's see. And our entry permit is expired. Well, so this is where the game starts to mess with you, if you're like me. She hasn't seen her son in six years because the border has, we've had closed borders, but now that we've opened them back up, she wants to come see him, but her entry permit has expired. It's expired, man. Please let me pass. My son is waiting. So now I have a choice to make. Fine. Go see your son. Thank you. And that's an achievement, I think. But now I've received a citation. My boss is not happy with me because I, yeah. What is this? Where's your passport, dude? What is passport? Fine. Temporary visa. Denied. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, yeah. Because you need a passport, right? Yeah. Those are for denials only. You can't pass anybody with a, one of those temporary visas. Hello again. Uh, this is not... This is not a real passport, dude. Yeah, go. You don't like passport, I understand. Yeah, go, go get a, go get a real one, dude. He's in transit for two weeks. That's correct. This is fine. Um, outer. Outer grooves. The issuing city is incorrect, so I can't let you through, dude. Sorry. Come back tomorrow. And another successful day, I would say. Rent has gone up. Yay. But I've still got money left over, so we're okay for now. Republican track star wanted for murder. Vince Lestrade. Might be passing through here. So if we see this guy, we gotta do something. You are not authorized to detain suspicious individuals. Wonderful. Let's do this thing. Open up. What is the purpose of your trip? He's, she is immigrating. Uh, this is fine. The passport numbers are different, though. Dude. These numbers do not match. Hey, wait. Do not arrest me, please. Just deny my passport and I will go away. You know what? Fine. You're not causing any trouble, so I see no reason to arrest you. Just get out of here and come back with valid documents. 
Next, please. Dude. You are Vince Lestrade. Look, I did not kill her. I was set up. Let me through. Sorry, but I cannot do that. There's no way I can do that. You are wanted for murder. One moment, please. Yeah, that's a thing. That'll be a recurring thing throughout the game. Arresting people. Sometimes they might be innocent. You need a passport. What is a passport? What are you talking about? Dude, get out of here. Today is a beautiful day, my friend. We finally become free of Antigrian tyranny. Um. Stop Porter. Vostok. Migrating. That's the same. Heck yeah, dude. Go for it. Oh. There we go. Go for it. Welcome. Thank you so much. Please be kind to my wife. She is just after me. Oh, good. It will be lovely to meet her. Hello. Did you see my husband? He made it through, yes? Yes, of course he did, but uh, you don't have a entry permit. Please, I beg you. They will not give me a permit. I have no choice. I will be killed if I return to Antigria. Uh, and here we go again. On the one hand, if I receive too many citations, I start getting fined. And if I run out of money, I go to prison. I have a family to take care of. But... But come on, man. She's coming to live with her husband. Fine, go on in, just don't act too happy about it. It's another achievement, I think. And there's my citation. Missing an entry permit. Warning issued, no penalty. That's good. Transit, 14 days. That matches, that matches. You look the same. Mm, everything's good to me. Go right on through. Booth upgrade available. Okay, I'll take that. I can use a space bar to bring out the things. Yay. Alright, jobs few and becoming fewer. Immigrants taking jobs from locals. Hey, that's because of us. The whole arrest thing, not the the turkey gerbs incident. Um, travelers entering for work require a valid work pass. Great, more bull crap to add to the process. That's already should be simple. Let's see. Coming to work for 30 days. Is that right? Work for a month. Uh, let's see. Until this duration and stay have to be, they have to match. All right. And now all three of these names have to match each other. Gosh. Passport number's fine. You're a male. You look like one anyway. Uh, nothing has expired. Dang it, I keep clicking outside the window. There you go. Cause no trouble. Next, please. Pile your documents onto my desk. I plan to work. For six months. Oh, here. I don't I don't want any more of those. Working half a year. Uh that's fine. That's that's correct. Everything's fine. Female skull. Alright, you may go at dang it. I 
improve. Please help me. What is this? A man named Dari Ludum promised me and my sister work in Arstotska. I do not trust him. I am afraid he will take my passport and force me to work at a brothel. He is in line today, and please do something. Great. My... Papers, please. It's migrating. Enter by. That matches. That matches. Fine, whatever. See, uh, now... Here's where, where things come into play. I alone can either... I can ruin people's lives with this job. You know, uh, that poor girl who is being forced into prostitution might... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, lady. You're going to have to hold on a second. I'm, I'm going on a bit of a rant here. That, that poor girl could be forced into service because of me. That's fine. Get out of here. That's fine. That's that's fine. I think two months. Enter by. Oh wow, this is way expired. I don't care if you were busy. But so, it's my job. It's my job to do this thing. Oh friend, hello. Hi. I see you have a real passport this time, but now. You need a... No, you need an entry permit, dude. You're missing an entry permit. Oh, man, you're funny. Yeah, I know. Go back and get an entry permit. You run very strict border here. That is good. Do job right. And if... If I'm correct, in this fictitious country, uh, prostitution seems to be legal. I mean, they have... They have their phone numbers and everything. Based on their cards, I'm going to assume that prostitution is legal in this country. And therefore, what this, the man who apparently owns the place ha is in his right to do what he does. Should I? Do I violate his rights by preventing him from passing through and thus saving that girl's life or well-being or do I do I just let, let him through and let it let it happen for all I know while I was rambling on I might have accidentally let him through I don't know And it's not that I am personally conflicted, like in the game, of course I'm going to not let him through, but if he, a real person working, a, this is him, a real person working in this situation is faced with these problems, and everything checks out. You know, I've never actually let him through before, so I'm going to. Well, that sucked. But if if a person whose job depended on, you know, like your if your well-being and your family's lives depended on you doing your job correctly, and you were faced with these types of problems, what would you do? That that is what this game is all about. That's the that's the message this game is trying to tell us. Uh oh. Ah oh, crap. I forgot about this. And we have a suicide bomber. Ain't that wonderful. I keep forgetting about that attack. Can I prevent that? I'm gonna one of these days, I'll, I'll go back and see if I can. So now, guess what's going to happen? Another attack at the checkpoint. Suicide bomber slips through security.
And so now, to facilitate more thorough inspections, a search scanner system has been installed in your booth. Kalachian extremists are suspected in yesterday's bombing. Search all Kalachians before approving their entry. So now, here, here's where things get... This is crap that people talk about every day. Because of one person, because of one attack, now I have to violate the privacy and discriminate against the national, a, a, a specific nationality. And this is what people do. This is the reaction. It's the first and most, I understand, the most natural reaction for someone to have. But this crap is coming from the top down. I'm simply doing what I'm told. It, it, as this immigration inspector, it doesn't matter what I believe. It doesn't matter whether or not I think it's okay to search a specific nationality. What matters is I have a family on the line, a job on the line, people who are depending on me to do my job correctly. And, and here's the thing, when attacks like this happen, people, dem people expect action. I get that. People expect action, and the, and the government that my character is working for, to them, this is the best course of action. Because if they take no action at all, it's only going to arouse even more uh, hatred for both those of collision uh, origins and toward the government itself. But now we are... It, it's just such a... Do you understand what I'm saying, though? And you're, you happen, the first person of the day happens to be from Kalicha. You've been selected for a random search. Please turn towards the scanner. Look down, turn your head and cough. Please do not move, do not breathe. Thank you. Alright, thank you for allowing me to violate your privacy. Now we can get on with business. What did you say you were visiting for three months? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, everything checks out. You may pass. Thank you for your cooperation. And you see, this is, this is what happens because one guy decides to go blow himself up and kill a few people. Now I have to do this. And these people have to suffer for it. Is this the best course of action in a situation like this? I don't know. I can't answer that. Nobody can answer that. All anybody can say is something had to be done. Something had to be done. And this is what is being done. Is it the right course of action? It might be to some people, and to other people, it might not be. I've received a citation because apparently the na I didn't notice that the names didn't match. Liliana Roncal. Well, my first instinct with a name like Liliana and a face like that is that you are a female. It says here that you are a male. Yeah, what is this question? Can you imagine going through immigration like this and then being in the, her situ his, her situation? Wh whatever this person, uh, you know, truly is, we're about to find out. So now I have to, I have to discriminate again. I have to do... <sighs> Fine, you are a dude. Can you imagine this poor guy? I had to invade his privacy because of discrimination against what I believe a true male should look like. Sorry if I'm getting way too... Uh, uh, I forgot these districts here have to match. They have to be spelled correctly. That's fine. I'm probably getting way too social justice warrior-y here. I apologize. I guess, I guess, I, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Besides, uh, come on in. I can at least be looking at this while he's doing that. Mail, Yurko City. Uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, what is this? What is that? Is that drugs, my friend? Okay, I spoke way too soon. Now we caught one. You made a mistake coming here. Please wait a moment while we arrest you. And see? That's what I'm talking about. Sacrifices that are made to catch people like him. Are they worth it? That's not for me to decide. And it's not the developer's job to decide that either. They are simply trying to tell us that this crap happens. Uh, everything seems to be in order here. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't search him. I was so... Ah, uh, yes, I know. Possible smuggler admitted, I understand. You were working, huh? Well, I have to search you too, apparently. Oh, crap. Coming to work for a month, huh? Let's see. Work, one month. Oop, no, that. Okay, that's fine. You have drugs? Ma'am, what do you think you're doing? There is zero, to zero tolerance for contraband. Now, away with you. Alright, this seems to be the last man standing. Alright. Names match. Duration of stay and how good his work pass. How. Yeah. Whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. The three names. They all match. Alright, and nothing is expired. You are good to go, my friend. Whoops. There you go, there's your passport. Time to go home for the day. What did I do? Invalid ID number, piece of crap, and I've been penalized. Can't believe I missed that. I always forget about that. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I can't afford food to feed my family. No, <laughs> it's going to be okay. <sighs> All right, gamers of Gamersphere, that was Papers, Please. And as I said earlier, if I'm the only weirdo who thinks about this crap when he plays this game, then hey, I guess I'm the only weirdo who thinks about this crap when he plays this game. If you enjoyed the gameplay, there's a uh, there's there are a couple of uh, playlist links in the description to a, a few of other games that we've done. Don't forget to check out our website. I'll leave a link to our website, Facebook, Twitter, everything you could possibly need in the description below. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe share the video with a friend. So, you know, do all that really cool stuff that helps us out and lets us know that you uh, enjoy what we're doing. Because if you're not enjoying it, we got to do something different, right? And until the next video, play hard. <laughs>